The summer season is here and it's time to get creative in the garden and we can all use a little inspiration. So today I am with my flower fanatic friend Katie to help us out. Now Katie, what can we do to make our garden stand out from the rest of them on the block? Well, I think it's great to have a garden that's uniquely yours. So the best way to customize with color is to add colorful petunias to your outdoor living space. Why are petunias the best way to do that? Petunias are really still the most popular garden plant. They're widely available and very versatile for any sunny space. So whether you have a large patio or a rooftop garden or a small container, they can work well for you. And I love the variety of colors here. And I've seen petunias, so I know what they are. But when we talk about planting petunias, I can do a lot of things. I can make a lot of things. I'm not a great gardener. So are, are petunias easy for a sort of an uneasy gardener like me? Petunias are super easy for even a beginner gardener. Um, they make anyone look like a pro. They spread and trail from spring and through summer and fall with very little maintenance. So when we're planting uh, petunias, how do we do it? What's our first step? First you gotta find a sunny spot. Uh, at least six hours of sunlight is great. And then you choose your container. And you can go as creative or as uh, low key as you like. I've made this container because I like to DIY and decoupage. Would Perfect. this size work or does it have to be huge? Uh, for petunias, you'd want, you wouldn't have that many flowers, but you'll have uh, a great display and something unique for you. A big shirt has a drainage hole in the bottom so that water can run out throughout the season. Then you're going to add your soil. All We've right. got our soil right here. Oh, do you want your gloves? Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. You don't want to ruin your nails. We're going to fill this pretty full, leaving just one inch from the top. I mean, I say I'm not really good at gardening, but I'm having a great time in the soil. <laughs> and you want to give your pot a little bit of shift every so often, so you're getting all those air bubbles out, and it's nice and settled at the bottom, too. So what kind of soil do we have to use? Is there a special kind? Do I put fertilizer You don't in want it? to use topsoil, that's for sure. You want to make sure that you're using a good quality potting soil. It oh. has a lot of, um, almost like a nutrient charge in it already, and a lot of great drainage, so it holds its moisture. Because containers can dry out pretty quick in the summertime. And then you're going to put your, your plants in. So you give the bottom of your container a little squeeze mm -hmm. and then you pull it out and you can see the roots are already yeah. growing there um, and you just make a little hole in your container and plant it down push down a little bit and get all those air pockets out and you fill in the soil um, around it and that could be either adding more soil or kind of shifting your soil and in then your you can around. add more soil after you put the second yeah one we'll in. backfill towards the end okay and already you can see that the container is coming together and these plants will grow in very well together and do we add more, any more uh, soil at the end? When you're through, yes, you're gonna backfill and fill in any holes. Oh, let me give you some soil. You can always add more plants if you like. Here, I don't know what to do next. Sure. <laughs> kind of fill in the holes on the side here. I love that. And what a great way to accessorize the garden with a splash of color. Absolutely. And your petunias, I love it. Thank you so much, Katie. With a little inspiration and some imagination, we can all accessorize our outdoor spaces with a splash of color using petunias this summer season.